put on this photographer's wall, you know, thank you for posting the sunset pictures, because it made Dad tell me about uh, the Navy and the sun, the 180 Sunrises degree. Sunrises and sunsets, 180 degree. Actually, it's 360 if you turn around, but the sun is coming up over here. You got 180 degree. What are you talking about? There's the ocean out here. Yeah. You're standing here facing it. This is shoreline. You look out there, you can see 180 degrees sunrise from here around, but not behind you, see. It'd be 360 if you could see the whole thing, but you can't because you're looking that way. You can so turn around. 180. <laughs> well, of course you could see it 180. That's no, because there's. Over there. He means you on the. You're Dad, you're yelling water. at us. He always yells at me. Be you're looking out because there's the no. Water. There's water. No there's water no buildings or anything blocking the horizon. So he's saying you had a full, 180, 180 degree, degree view. Picture. View of the whole sunrise. And he got to see it every morning. Like From east to west. You're crazy, man. Do I make sense, Steph? Yes. Yeah, that makes I, sense. I understand now. <laughs> I didn't, when you were saying it and yelling at me, I I didn't quite get it because it's hard to understand when people are yelling at you. So there, mister. And what I'm else? giving that watch what, to the baby. And what else did I tell you, Steph? You told me that a boat got caught land on a sandbar and we had to go down to North Carolina. 41 days. Yeah, 41 days. No. And I heard about women in that story, too, I think. Yeah, there's always women. <laughs> he was the only man on that, that jury. That was up in Cape May. 41 I said, no, days I... from the day we left to the day we got back. I know, honey. USS Monson. I was there. Yeah. No. I was one of the women. But I was I telling went aboard. I was telling them when we were up to Cape Cod with your mother and father how we would get up every morning and walk down yep. the beach. Yep. And one morning she got a little afraid because there was a crab on the Well he was trying to kill me. <laughs> was it a blue claw crab or a yeah. horseshoe it was, crab? It was a killer yeah. crab. Oh killer crab. <laughs> <laughs> he was chasing me. He wasn't chasing your father. Well, he, well, he knew I would step on him or eat him or something. I wouldn't want you to step on him. Right, I, I know. Well, he didn't ocean. know that, see. I was going to have you throw him in the he ocean. He knew, he knew he could scare you, but he knew he couldn't scare me unless it was a sheet crab. What time is it on your I watch I didn't check now? to see. Uh... <laughs> I'm afraid to ask. Do you remember, remember what it's I told you? It's uh, 9... It's 9... 10, Don't you think we're comical? Do I remember I, you told me about what? It's for what your nose. Huh? Well, He's, I told you something. What, what did I tell her? We're talking about the sandbar. The boat's getting caught on the sandbar. Oh, down in Cape Oh, the May. crab. Grandma and Grandpa Flatley didn't go out in the morning. Just no, oh, no, we, we got there. up at like We got four up early. And it was, we were out there before the sun was actually coming up so we could watch the sun rise. That was nice. Well, I love, used to love walking on the beach, feeling yep. the sand on your feet. I used to love that. Me and your mother used to have lots of fun. It's funny the things you can't do when you miss them. And oh, it's not so funny. Were you kids with us when we were in the restaurant and the two guys were in the boat? We were sitting there. Cheryl, you know? Cheryl and Carlos were. Oh, Cheryl and Carlos? Mm hmm. These two guys were coming down this little. It was, the stream was about as wide as the kitchen. From wall to wall. Mm -hmm. They were in a boat and they were coming down this way. The thing eventually goes into the ocean, but there was a bridge right here just to the left of where the restaurant was. And we were sitting there 
Some guys come, they're fishing, and I don't know what they're doing, but the boat tipped over. They went in the water. I didn't know how deep it was. I didn't know if they were going to drown, well, they if they knew how to swim or not. But they stood up fast. Yeah, they, yeah. And they make it for the shore. I don't know if they took the boat with them. I, I think they're they were doing fishing, funny stuff. They're fishing poles and tackle boxes, I guess, were still in the boat. So the boat is drifting down towards the little bridge. So what do they do? They run over here to the bridge and they're climbing down off the bridge now to try to get down low to where they can get their stuff out of the boat. But 